So I'm almost done with my very first smoke using a propane smoker. And let me just tell you this, electric smoker, it's not. Let me tell you all the benefits of an electric smoker. An electric smoker, you put in the chips, it starts to smoke, you put a temperature. As long as you fill up the chips, you should be good for the first four hours. And then you can go to sleep, knowing that the temperature is going to stay the same. When you uh, smoke with a propane smoker, it's not as easy. I guess it's the uh, benefit of having... Uh, the um, the heat coming out, the heat source coming out constantly as a flame, but at the same time you always have to be you always have to be monitoring it. And there's a lot of things, well not a lot. There's a number of things that you need to monitor that that I was just not used to uh, using my electric smoker. Uh, first and foremost, the um, the chip tray. Notice how I took it out already. This chip tray, I I used soaked chips, I used soaked chunks, I used regular chunks the thing is that this smoker is so good or this flame down here is so good that as soon as you put it as soon as you put it down there it's going to catch uh, fire it's gonna catch smoke and fire and that actually adds to your temperature which you don't want to get too high so that was number one you always have to be battling um, the temperature due to not only the heat source from the propane smoker but also the heat source coming out of the, the wood chips so it's, I highly recommend you get yourself one of these uh, Bluetooth uh, wireless um, thermometers that can send you information. I've been constantly monitoring it all night long. This uh, My phone woke me up a couple of times uh, due to the temperature either going too high or too low inside the smoker and um, I needed to come make some adjustments. The other thing that I noticed is um, after I kind of fine-tuned it and I said this is a temperature or this is the the amount of of flames I need for it to keep it at the temperature I want well I kind of did go to sleep for about a, three hours when I woke up I came out and I heard a lot of sizzling going on what was happening was that my uh, my my brisket which I already wrapped you know to try to speed up the cooking process my brisket was hitting the pan but the pan was empty and notice how it's kind of bubbling there underneath it's a slow simmer that is due to the flame underneath there's nothing I can do about that problem is that if you don't continuously check on your pan it's gonna to start to sizzle uh, every time the it, it lands with the fat on it so that is not a good thing because once you have that you start um, it starts to dry out if you don't have any uh, water in that pan the moisture inside your smoker starts to get really really dry and uh, you're gonna get a, a dry brisket um, when I wrapped it I will be honest it did I guess I'm just overthinking it but the the brisket itself is comparable at least right now just pulling it out smelling it seeing it feeling it touching it before I wrapped it it kinda still about the same as as a electric smoker but it did there was a lot of uh, many obstacles that came along with it to get it to that point. I had to get out of my comfort zone and actually raise the uh, temperature up a little bit to be able to get my brisket out in the time I needed. So that's going to be another variable that I'm going to be monitoring to see if uh, maybe cooking it at a little bit higher temperature, if that makes any difference in regards to the taste or the texture. But yes, um, just to recap, if you're going to use a propane smoker, don't think it's going to be a set it and forget it you're going to have to battle not only the the heat coming out of the wood but you're also going to have to be adjusting the the heat coming out of your propane now I don't know if it's because it's master built or these are all the way they are but the heat coming out of the propane the the actual flame is almost at the lowest setting is almost too high already for for a smoke I don't know what that is I mean it's it's built to be or it's um, advertised as a smoker yet the flame that comes out if you just leave it as is will hit you to the smoking temperature that you want without any of the uh, chips or anything like that so that is a slight modification you have to keep in mind uh, when you're looking into a smoker like this one of the major major benefits is as as you've seen in my other videos I mean as soon as you put the chips down it starts to smoke there is no re there is no question about the ability for it to smoke and actually what I like is that 
these uh, wood chunks actually caught fire but they weren't uh, they, they were caught fire which means that combustion is what I need in order to get that that um, that smoke ring that I'm looking for all right so all in all I am pretty I, I need to see what the final product is I'm looking at my internal temp of my brisket it's already getting because I wrapped it it's already getting to the that first one is my internal temp of the brisket 189 so I'm gonna actually lower it as as low as possible I'm gonna open up the damper here so that it's not as it's already full wide open and I'm, I'm gonna put my brisket out uh, once it gets to about 195 now according to this it might be sooner than expected but that's alright once the brisket is pulled out put it in a cooler for two hours and then you can slice it and enjoy it right hope you enjoyed this uh, video and if you have not done so far please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with the latest and greatest thank you for watching